It's a uh, aerated wastewater treatment system, which is a flash septic tank system, which treats all your, your household waste, uh, both your grey water and your black water, which is all your washing machine water and your toilet water, uh, shower water, etc., and puts it through a process that, um, at the final process, it turns it into clean, clear water for irrigation. That's a very short story of uh, the aerated wastewater treatment system. So several chambers, how does it actually work? Everything goes into one primary chamber from your, your toilets and your washing machine, showers, as I said um, just before, and it all goes into a, a, the first primary chamber. There's a breakdown in there, uh, an anaerobic breakdown in that chamber. Then it goes into an aeration chamber, which we have a hanging media. Basically, uh, bacteria grows on there. We have a living organism called bacteria. It grows in there. We add a very fine air bubble underneath it through a diffuser, much like a spa pool thing going on in there and then it, that's your secondary breakdown, secondary treatment. So we call that an aerobic breakdown happening there. It hydraulically transfers into the next chamber, clarification chamber, a settling pond is a simple term. All the particles from that dirty water settle into the bottom of that chamber and then we have a, a, a pipe in the bottom of that chamber called an air venturi lift pickup. Sucks it off the bottom there, all the, all the uh, sludge, and returns it back into the primary, the first chamber, for retreatment. It then finally ends up in the irrigation chamber, which in simple terms pumps out into your, uh, around your trees, your shrubs, coppice woodlots, etc., for um, irrigation. Do you have to service them at all? Yes, you do. Every six months, uh, every um, aerated treatment system, because they have filters in, uh, internally and externally, you need to have that, those systems um, serviced, which is cleaning of filters, by an authorised installer, uh, drain layer, etc. The person may have installed your system or an agent. So, and that's what you've got in your hand? This I've got in my hand is uh, a solids filter. Uh, this is made by Biosceptor in Christchurch. Um, this is specifically made at the stage for our AirTech systems. And what this does is any stops any solid particles transferring through the system and contaminating uh, our AirTech systems. So one of these systems, basically, it is a, it's like a sewage plant all on its own. It is a sewage plant. It's like a uh, commercial uh, wastewater treatment plant scaled down for domestic use in your backyard, uh, a non-smell system. So when it's operating correctly, you should get no smell from that system. So what can you put down it? That's a really good question because uh, they aren't a, a giant hole in the ground that uh, makes everything go away. If basic rule of thumb, if you, if you can't eat it, don't flush it down there. Waste disposal systems are a no-no in any of the brands of aerated treatment systems because it's um, untreated uh, vegetable matter, for one, that sinks in the bottom of the tank and uh, builds a, a, a sludge in the bottom and would have to be pumped out quite frequently. So. I'd imagine that you're using a lot of these as replacements for septic tanks that have got to the end of their lives. Yeah, that's correct. There is, uh, in, in some parts of the of both islands, uh, some councils are doing warrant of fitnessing of some very old systems that are over 100 years old, some 50 years old, very bad systems that have collapsed internally or the disposal fields are blocked and need replacing and they're finding it a whole lot easier to go to an aerated treatment plant. And some of the councils are specifying that you must, in some areas, go to aerated treatment plant. It's an interesting thing because we've got the, the nitrogen question mark hanging over everything. What, yep. How do these fit into that? We build um, three units of AirTech system. We have an AirTech 7000 unit, which does up to a three bedroom home. That's a standard system. Then we do an AirTech 9000, which is um, just behind me here, um, and that does three bedroom up to seven bedroom home. Then we have a nitrogen removal unit, which has another chamber on it, and another set of media, and a few other little good things going on in there. And that takes 88% of the nitrogen out of the water, so ideal for around lakes and waterways to protect our environment in New Zealand. You must have done a lot of R&D. There was a lot of R&D. How we got to this shape of tank is quite interesting. Um, we started out with a, with a big round tank with a whole lot of internal chambers. To make a plastic one, we had to make the walls so thick that it ended up being so heavy that it wasn't really viable. So there was a lot of uh, crush testing, hydraulic crush testing, um, done on computer CAD drawings and we ended up with uh, basically upside down light bulbs. They're not just uh, designed for good looks, they're, um, they're designed for the crushing, the external crushing hydraulic pressures. And also when you backfill, you've actually got a footing on the bottom of those chambers. So 
when you order one, somebody obviously has to install it? Yeah, we have uh, a trained installers that are authorised to put in our units. Um, we don't like them to go out and just willy-nilly put in the ground. We like uh, our customers to have reassurance that the people that are actually doing these units know what they're doing and uh, they can be satisfied that we've, uh, we have trained people to do that and do the servicing. And obviously when they arrive you just couple on the dwelling and, and couple on the irrigation at the other side? Yeah, pretty simple like that Rob, actually they um, dig the hole like any normal septic tank in the ground. Our units turn up complete package, plug and play units we try to call them. So the house gets connected on one end and the drip line run out the other and uh, a bit of power to it. Um, it's as simple as that pretty much. Septic tanks are talking about 30 years or onwards mm -hmm. and they're going to have to be looked at very seriously. What's the life expectancy of one of these? Sort of how long's a piece of string type of thing. The plastic tanks, um, we have poly pipe in the ground that have been in there for over 50 years and these are twice the wall thickness of that. These are made of all food, food grade plastic, um, high quality plastic. So I think it's, um, it's, it's going to be well out, over. Oh, well out, <laughs> well out on picking, yeah. It's, and once they're in the ground, obviously it's a fairly deep hole, but all you can see is a couple of green uh, pits at the top. Yep, correct. Um, all you'd see is the, uh, is the lids and the blower box, which is a big mushroom shaped lid on the top. And uh, that contains um, some of the electrical components that, that run the tank, like the, the air blower, um, that, that splits through to the sludge return and the aeration. Um, and just the, our nicely screwed in threaded lids, which uh, are child proof. Uh, they also thread in, they have a tech screw locking um, bolt in there to stop them, stop any kiddies undo them and accidentally falling in. And I guess you've got, still need somebody with a truck to empty them every short yeah, time or whatever. Yeah, we sort of work on the between three and seven years um, to get that, the sludge that will settle at the bottom um, that can be sapped out. And that comes down to how well the people, the homeowner is educated on to looking after that system. And that comes as part of the package, that education? Very much so. Um, they, they aren't, as I said earlier, just a magic hole in the ground. Um, they do have filters on them, so you do have to look after them. Um, and once we kill that bacteria in there, that living organism, um, we do have processes that bring it back pretty easy. So what about quality control? I mean, it's, I know that RX Plastics with their Max tanks have got independent people to keep quality up. Yep, that's correct. We also do that with our um, aeration units, our AirTech units, and our standard septic tank range. We're in the North Island, there's a uh, trial, independent trial called the OSET trials, which is run by Water New Zealand, a branch under that called SwanSig, and they do independent testing of our um, AirTech systems um, through a, about a, an eight-month trial period, and they put through uh, town uh, wastewater through it, and then take samples of it regularly and then overdose it and they deliver us a report. And that's reassurance for us that the system does work, it's reassurance for the homeowner that the system does work and it's reassurance for the councils that the system does work.